If you are like me and love following design trends and animations, then you know that God Rays is a design trend that's up and coming. But how do you create something like that in WordPress? I'm going to teach you how to create this God Ray effect in Bricks Builder. So let's get to it. If you're not sure if Bricks is something for you, you can try it out for free. Just hit Try Bricks, fill in your email address, click Create Account, and you have a free Bricks playground where you can try out Bricks for free. I've already bought Bricks and I've installed it in here. When you want to install it, you go to Appearance Themes, you will add a new theme, select Upload Theme, go to Choose File, and then pick your Bricks theme that you've downloaded. Then you will be navigating here and it will say the blue button instead of Customize, it will say Activate. When you press Activate, it will be enabled. And in Bricks itself, you go to License. I won't do that right now. And you can fill in your license. When you've done that, you can create a new page. So let's do that. And in here, you see that you can press Edit with Bricks. And this will open up the Bricks Builder. So here we have our Bricks Builder. And let's get started with the God Ray design. So we will add in a section. Inside the section, you have a container. And inside the container, I would like to have Heading and if this is the wrapper of the ray lights and we will add a another div that will act as a ray light to make it easier for ourselves we will rename the things in the structure so this will be our hero section like this and this is the hero wrapper for the heading we'll be using heading so that will be fine for this is ray and wrapper and this is our ray light let's make it a little bit consistent now we have our default structure that we need now it's a good practice to use classes. The reason why is that this is reusable. When you use a section on a different page, it will have the same styles. It's a reusable settings holder, so to speak. So let's add a class called hero. And for the hero, I want to change the style. We want to have the height to be 100 view height. Maybe we should set it to SVH. After layout, we go to background, we pick a color for the hero section, black. And for the typography, because it doesn't look nice right away, we want to use white color. Then for the contents, we want it to align in the center. So as you can see, everything is now nicely aligned to the center. For the hero wrapper, we can add a class. We will not be using it today, but it's good practice to get all the class names in there. Then for your heading, we will call this hero title. For our ray wrapper, we can just call this ray and maybe change the name here as well to make them the same. And this one will be called ray light. And now we have everything in here Now we hit save. And if you look on the website, you see that it's reflecting what we have just made. Now let's adjust hero wrapper because we want everything to be centered. And I want this heading to be an H2, uh, even H1, because it's the only title that's available on this page and it's the main title. Now let's add a little bit of customization because this is our ray light, but it doesn't look beautiful. And the way to do this is by going to style and we can set all kinds of settings. The first thing we change is the size is in this section. It will have 45 pixels and it will be 75 SVH. For the next step, we'll be adding CSS. All the CSS snippets can be found in the description down below. So if you need it, you know where to find it. And we paste in this section. Now, if we remove the second line, you will see it looks a little bit like this. Now, I don't really like the look of this, so I added a mask. And what this does, it masks the lower portion. This makes it feel like I'm more naturalized, so I really like that. And then we hit save. So this is the default setup for our ray lights. And we need to duplicate it a few times. You can do this by pressing Ctrl Shift D and it will recreate itself. Now, as you can see, they're now all stacked. That's not what we want. So let's change that. We go to our ray. And in array, we go to content. And in content, we change the display to flex and then go from left to right. As you can see, there we have our ray lights side by side. Let's add other two. And now we have six ray lights. For the next step, I really want to add some kind of animation because this 
already looks good, but it can be better. So what we do is go to style and then click on our class because the animation needs to happen for each ray light separately. So we're going to duplicate the second code snippet that's in the description, paste it right in. And as you can see, there's already some fading happening here. It has an attribute called animation or a setting, and it will call a frame, so an animation that's called reanimation. It will last for 10 seconds and it will continue into the infinity and beyond. And these are the steps happening. So 20% of 10 seconds, seconds, in two seconds, it will change to 80% opacity. The opacity is a number between one and zero, and it's actually a percentage. At four seconds, it will change to 0.6, etc., etc. Now we need to copy this into the other ray lights as well. And because we want them to be unique, we need to change the naming of the animation per ID. So what we do is just add reanimation one, and we do that for the other ones as well. Now we have all our animations set up. We can slightly tweak how it looks and feels. With the first one, I'm happy, but the second one should have the same animation. And I show you why. Because if we look at our website, we see our ray lights happening. And it looks really awesome. But they are all in sync. And real ray lights are not in sync. So let's change that. For our second ray light, I would like this to be nine seconds. Uh, start at four opacity, going up to six. 60% opacity, go to 10% opacity, and go to 60% opacity. Now, this also needs to be changed for the other ones. So, let's do that real quick. Now, we have added different kinds of animations happening for each ray light. And look at the preview. We see that the animations are happening one after each other. Now, this already looks a little bit better, don't you agree? And now, what we want to do is move the ray lights to the top of the page because it needs to. Look like it's coming down from above the page. So what we're going to do is go to layout, into position, set position to absolute, and set this one to zero. We also would like to change our hero to always have a position of relative so that the ray lights always stay inside our hero section. Next, what we would like to do is change the position the ray lights are in. And they're all moving now downwards, and it does look pretty but it can be a little bit improved. So let's do that next. We want it to look interesting and we don't want to do that on class level, but ID level, because this needs to be changed individually for each ray light. So we go to transform, set the transform origin, dot center. So we're going to cue the diff and it needs to happen on the top side in the center. So that's what we'll be doing on the Z axis. We can set it to, for example, 60 degrees. Second one also needs to be top and center. To make your life easy, just copy and paste this section and something like 30 and paste the center again, 15 and top and center again. It can be uh, something like five, top and center again. And now we would like to move the ray lights to the other side. You can do this by pressing minus and then filling in a number. And let's do that also for the last one. As you can see, the ray lights are now in different orientations, which makes this a little bit more interesting. But I also see something else happening. Two things, actually. One thing I see happening is here. Now the ray lights show a little bit of a black square there. I don't like that, so we need to change that. Secondly, I see that something is happening. I can scroll my website from left to right, whilst the hero section should be the full width. So let's change that one first, because that's quite easy. We go to layout, and then you have overflow. In overflow, we set a cell hidden, and this will hide everything that's outside of our hero section. As you can see, it has been fixed right now. For our ray light, we want the ray to go a little bit above our heading. So we can set a RAM value and move this up ever so slightly. You have to play around a little bit with the numbers depending on your orientation, but I think this looks good. And if we look on our website, this is the effect that we have right now. Now there's one change I would like to make as well. 
and that is make it more seamless. And you can do that by adding a little bit of blur. So let's do the next. We go to Ray, press CSS, and add some filters. And we will play around with the blur. Just use the slider, or you can increase it even higher if you would like to by defining a number. Now you don't see it reflected in the builder, but watch it as we save it and then look on the website itself. And there we have our ray lights. Now I do think it would also be fun that one's a little bit shorter and the other one is a little bit larger. So let's play around with that specifically. Third one needs to be very tall. So we go to layout and set the height to 80 SVH or maybe even 90. As you can see, one ray light is now a bit larger than the other ones. And perhaps the second one needs to be shorter. As you can see, you can play around a little bit and make it more an interesting effect. Adding the heading more blended with the environment would like to change that. Let's go to our hero title, go to CSS, and we will add another code snippet. It says the background clip to text. So the background will be clipped to how the text is and the text fill color will be transparent, making it transparent. We have this kind of effect. I can play around with the values also and maybe we can change the contents of this. Uh, let's go to heading. Amazing. Ray light effects. Maybe we would like to make this a little bit bigger. Six view width. Now that looks a lot better. I would like to change this. As you can see, when I click my text, it selects the ray light. And this is due to uh, the layering happening. When something is mentioned layer later in the structure, it is on top of the layer. So actually, <laughs> this does represent better what's actually happening. But it is like this. Now, why do you want this? Because the most important things needs to be higher up because then Google will find it sooner. And what we can do to change it for the layers is changing the layers uh, position. And we can do that in layout. Then we search for the index and set this to one. This means it will be the one layer above and layers the Z index zero is what everything gets by default. If we save this, we see something nice happening. Now I can select this text, press enter, and I would like this to be aligned in the center by going to typography and center it. And if we hit save, there we have our hero section. Ruby, we've done it. Now, if you'd like to add a text effect, we can use Bricks Forge for that. And if you want to learn how, there's a video right there. I love doing these kinds of things, creating amazing web design trends within WordPress like uh, Bricks Builder or GreenShift. And if you liked it as well, you know what to do. Subscribe. Keep designing.